Hi, Linda Bowney here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. It's Tuesday in Creative Fold, and today's Creative Fold I learned from a team member, Sue Floyd from Akron, Ohio. She shared this fold um, during a recent uh, team challenge. I'll be sharing her card tomorrow, but today I am sharing the card that I designed from um, the sample that she sent. And I'm using the Hydrangea um, Hill Designer Series paper, and I have cut three pieces, one piece out of one pattern, and two out of the same pattern. These three pieces measure two and a half by four. Then I have a piece of gorgeous grape, and this measures two and three quarter by four and a quarter. I have a small piece of that hydrangea hill. This measures a half by three and three quarter. I have a piece of Whisper White. Excuse me, this is not Whisper White, it is Basic White. I am going to learn that new name uh, sooner or later. And it is three and three quarter by five. Then my main card base is out of the Highland Heather and it is five and a quarter by eight and I have already scored it at the four inch mark and I ran it through my Stampin' uh, Cut and Emboss machine with the Ornate floral uh, 3D folder. Then I have a piece of gorgeous grape that's five and a quarter, excuse me, four and a quarter by five and a half. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the two pieces of designer series paper that are the same pattern and along that two and a half inch side I am going to score at a half of an inch. So we're going to score and then what we're going to do along the four inch side, we are going to mark at the two inch mark and we're going to take that two inch dot and the corner where the score line is. So we're going to make sure that we can see that score line. This paper has got a lot of design in it so it's kind of hard to see. I want to make sure I'm right on the channel with the dot and the score line and we are going to cut and I am sure in the coming days I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with those triangles. I'm thinking that I can use them on my Easter card. So stay tuned um, to see what I come up with because I hate to waste my designer series paper. So I've got that one. We're going to do the same thing on this one. We are going to score at a half inch along the four inch side we are going to mark at the two and then we are going to cut gotta watch when I go to put that arm down that my fingers are out of the way so that I don't move that paper then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our card base and we are going to adhere these flaps to the back of our card. Now we could use um, tear and tape. I'm going to be using um, my Stampin' Seal Plus. <coughs> I've got that. And then I'm just going to line it up with the top making sure that enough for the flap we've got that one now we're going to do the bottom and line that one up like so. We're going to go ahead and put the inside of our card. We're going to be using um, that three and three quarter by five basic white. I'm going to put that in the inside of our card. And then I think I'm going to use glue dots for that half inch strip that I have cut out of the hot Hydrangea Hill Designer Series paper and we're going to put that along the bottom. I need to start remembering to decorate the inside of my card a little bit more than 
I have been. Sometimes that little strip of paper just really adds to my card. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back of the main card base and I'm going to add my adhesive and I'm going to add that to my four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of gorgeous grape. I see I may have cut that wrong. Let me see which one I cut wrong. This is four and a quarter, so that's right by up, oh, and I only cut it at five and a quarter. That's why there's a, a different, this should have been five and a half. So I only have the gorgeous grape color on one side really doesn't matter. Um, still looks nice. I'm going to then take the one flap and I am going to add my stamp and seal. I like to add it on this piece because if I put it on the back of the gorgeous grape, I have a tendency to put too much adhesive. We've got that. I'm going to bring in that piece Of High Drangia Hill, and I'm going to use the stamp set um, that is in that suite. And it says to an incredible woman. You know what? I want to use a different one. I want to make Do You Make Me Smile. We're going to stamp that up towards the top. I am then going to grab my pastel pearls and I think I'm going to add three of those. Let's go ahead, we can go ahead and add different colors since there's three different, there's the light purple and there's also the pink in there. So let's go ahead and add those three pearls. We're going to add that to that flap. But next what I'm going to bring in is my Dandelion Garden a bundle. I have got a piece of Highland Heather and the Gorgeous Grape. On the Highland Heather, I'm going to take my Dragonfly with the Gorgeous Grape and I'm going to stamp that and punch that big Dragonfly out. And then I'm going to take the smallest um, Dragonfly and I'm actually going to punch three of those out. There isn't a stamp for the smaller dragonfly, but it's just really a cute little dragonfly. So we're going to go ahead, our card opens like so. Like so. Opens and then opens again. So on the inside here, I am going to take my glue dots and I am just going to add three little dragonflies for my dragonfly um, punch. I think I got a glue dot on my finger here. Let's get that off. So we've got the three little dragonflies. The bigger dragonfly, I'm going to take my Wink of Stella and I am going to go in and color with that Wink of Stella. It just really brings the dragonfly alive with sparkle. I'm going to hold that up to the camera so you can see the difference. Hope you can see how it just brightens the dragonfly up. I'm going to use a dimensional to put that dragonfly on my card. Pull up his wings a little bit and grab a dimensional. And we're going to put him right about there. Let's make sure, oops, I think he needs to be moved up just a hair so that he doesn't interfere with that bottom flap. So there we have a fun 
fancy flip fold card. Very simple to make and really shows off that beautiful designer series paper. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.